In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a template hook. A template hook adds content to the bottom of a post. So in our demo app we have here, what I want to do is add a JavaScript based timer to the bottom of this post. And this is for API based posts. So the, t the content that you put in a template hook would normally be static content, such as a, the name of an author or an event date or um, something like that. In this case, we're going to just add some buttons that we're going to use with our custom JavaScript that we covered in the last video. So to use a template hook, we are going to uh, just look it up in the documentation. So if you look for template hook, so if you look in our documentation, you'll see that we have example code here. So what I need to do is put this content or uh, put this code into a plugin and activate the plugin on my WordPress website. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, to create the file, we just create a PHP file and give it some information and comments at the top. And that is all you need to do to create a WordPress plugin. And then we're going to use the REST API init action. And instead of just kind of writing this code out, let's see, I'm going to use it from another file that I've, I've already created it, but I'll do it one at a time. So it's easier to see. So we're using the REST API init action, and then we're going to call a special function and you can give it a name. And then we're going to use register rest field inside of that. So the, uh, what we're going to do is add it to our exercises post type. And then we're going to um, <clears throat> attach it to the object called APPP. And that is just how you kind of get it in the app, how the app knows what to do here. And then we're going to have an array of arguments. And those are going to be the callback. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Really the important one here is the get callback, which is going to be where we populate the timer. So let's finish that off. And now we're going to create our function, which is our callback. So in the hook data, it takes three arguments and I'm just going to copy and paste this for the sake of time. <clears throat> And then what we want to do is populate our data. And then at the end, we're going to return this data. And we actually, we have a few different template hooks. And so if we go back to our documentation, you'll see that we have um, in, in the example, we're using post list above title, and there's also post detail above title. That's what's going to tell app presser where to actually put the content. So in our case, we want to do post detail and we're going to do below content. So the avail, you can go to the available hooks towards the bottom and you'll see that there is post detail below content. That's what we want to do. So we're going to go back to our code and we're going to say data post post detail. And then we're going to say below content. And then we can put any type of, like if we want to put in HTML and say, you know, stuff here that is now going to show up in the app. And if you wanted to give it custom styling, you could give it a class of app, you know, content, whatever you want it to be. And then you can target that with CSS in app presser and customize it. So in our case, we are going to, um, we're going to add below detail, below the content. So instead of adding just random content here, we want to add the markup for our JavaScript timer. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. So we have a div with an ID of stopwatch. We have some initial numbers here, zeros, and then we have a start, stop and reset button. And then we're going to uh, we're going to make stuff happen with our custom JavaScript on this timer. But all this is going to do is put this 
actual markup into our app. In these template hooks, you can actually use WordPress functions as well. So if you wanted to do something, let's see, so like the object ID, the post ID is object ID. So the exact, the specific post that we're manipulating is in the object and it's the object ID. So then we could do stuff like uh, meta equals get post meta and then we use post ID and we could use whatever key it is here and and then insert that in you know in here if we wanted to meta whatever this is not a good example but you kind of see how what I'm getting at is that we can use these normal functions in WordPress that we're used to using and we can insert the content here so if we had in the post meta we had like I don't know, an event date or something like that. And then um, we wanted to manipulate that or we wanted to show that in our app. We could do that like that. You could check out our documentation for more examples, but that's kind of the gist of it. So then what we do with this file is we upload it to our WordPress site and it's just a WordPress plugin. So you can go to, you can, zip this PHP file and go to WordPress plugins, add new, and then click upload and upload the zip file, or you can upload it via FTP and to the plugins directory, and then make sure you activate it. And once it's activated, we can go back and check out, let's see. So I just activated it on my site and then I can go here and you'll see that we have the markup. So this is the zeros that we added right here. And then of course I've customized this with CSS, these buttons. So here I have um, the stopwatch and the buttons. I've kind of given them some styling and some colors. And then with the custom JavaScript that we already implemented in the previous video, now this timer will actually work. It'll actually do something. So which is pretty cool. So that's template hooks. Normally, like I said, you'd be adding static content. The custom JavaScript is a little more advanced but I just wanted to show you how you can add that. That does now show up on all of our exercise posts. And in the next video, we're gonna cover protecting your content with a membership plugin.